Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, April 5th, 2020. 30 degrees at 8.19 a.m. I'm sitting here with my co-star Max, my little brother, my friend and companion. Everyone else is who knows where. Got a couple blackbirds out there. I can't remember if I said the time and temperature. My brain is going soft. It's 30 degrees at 819. Uh, I slept so-so, and I had a pretty pretty good dream about Mischief and Rascal, and I think Autumn were in that. And What that... I don't know. Without complicating things too much, I just realized this morning that yesterday... Uh, was the day we purchased this home, closed on it, I should say, and Mischief at, uh, Rascal and Stu and I moved in on April 4th, I believe, 2001. Might have been 2000, but I don't know. I'd have to look. And I remember one of the things I distinctly remember about that day was the feeling I had. And, like, why didn't I do this sooner was one, but... We were outside at, at dark that day, that night. And I, I was out there with Chief and Raz and Tui, and I said to myself and to them, this is a big backyard. This is a big yard. This is our big backyard. And it was such a great feeling. And it was a clear night. It was a starry night. And uh, that was April 4th, 2001, I think. I could be wrong. I've only been right twice in my life. We finished our readings this morning. We've been up since we got out of bed about 7 o'clock. Sammy's still up there. He didn't want to come down. I woke a few times during the night, and I am a little tired. City chickens have been feeding, blackbirds, blue, blue jays have been coming back and forth. God is singing to us in the chimes, and it's kind of windy. We're looking for a high of 51 today, and sunshine, according to the forecast. But I got the feeling that there's going to be some snow coming up. We usually do get an April snowstorm, and I can just feel it in my bones that we got snow on the way. Whether it's today, I don't know, but I think there is going to be some snow before this month is over. I'm doing my best to... Uh, Try to keep positive during this whole ordeal that's going on, this COVID pandemic, as they call it. Panic is my preferred word, and insanity. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of different thoughts and said a lot of different things in a lot of different directions about my thoughts on this matter. And uh, lately it's been... Uh, I think Earth Mother's just culling the herd of humans because we've, uh, it's, the Earth's just fed up with us wasting all the resources and, uh, you know, taking over all the creatures and features and just being polluting pigs, you know, like Agent Smith said in the movie The Matrix, humans are a virus. And I've really been getting that thought again and just feeling a lot of contempt for my fellow human beings uh, of late. Yesterday, I tried. I've really been trying. But yesterday when I was on my bike ride, uh, all over in ditches, there's always trash, but now I'm starting to see all the masks and rubber gloves, and it's like, come on, people, why do you have to be such pigs, you know? And Mother Nature's just culling the herd. That's all I can think of, you know, and we've got sneeze guards put up at our registers now at the store, and people are still just piling on top of each other, coming through the line instead of giving themselves the distance that they're recommending. Some don't have the sense to just pass the money back and forth underneath the sneeze guard, which is supposed to prevent the spread of the virus or help, you know, protect the customer and the cashier. They walk to the end of it and hand you your money anyway. It's like, what don't you get about it? 
What do you not get about that? And yesterday there seemed to be an exceptionally large number of lard asses. I'm not going to mince words here. Lard asses. Big fat fucks. You know, buying 10, 12 bottles, 2 liter bottles of soda pop. And what I call Soylent Green. Just pre-packaged garbage food. The nutrition just stomped right out of it. Just nuke it and eat it so you can just get fatter, you know? And <laughs> it goes to the city chickens. I did. I couldn't find any empathy for them. I couldn't, I, I, no sympathy at all. Uh, no, very little compassion. That went out the window. When you see them just moving their bulk around, you know, and just not doing anything but just, Planning on getting fatter. <laughs> and the whole, you know, all the packaging. It's all right there in what we are and what we're doing to this, this, uh, this planet, you know. And it will recover. We're going to make ourselves extinct. But yeah, you know, they're buying all this pre-made, pre-packaged garbage with all this plastic and styrofoam. And, you know, where does it end up? I don't know. I got to get off it, but that's where I'm at right now with it. I sure don't hate people, but I'm feeling better that they're not around, and I get to go deal with them from 12 till 8 today. I'm hoping I'll uh, be all right. I'll try to be nice, and I will be. I'll put on the act, but uh, yeah. And I was reading up more numbers on this thing of who it's killing and all that. And again, they're deceptive. They throw all these percentages and things around. But it's percentages, uh, from what I can tell, of people who actually have this, not the number of people in the world. You know? But 50% uh, of the people that get it will show no symptoms. 30% will show some mild symptoms. 20% will uh, get some more uh, severe symptoms and 1% will die from it. That's people that contact it actually get this virus. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, despite, like I said, yeah, it's killing people that are supposedly perfectly healthy, but we don't get the details of how they really are, these younger people and these other so-called healthy young people that it's killing. Uh, the majority, I believe, there are a lot of underlying causes, which goes back to the lard-ass thing I brought up. We are responsible for the shape we're in. Yes, we get some defects genetically, whatever. We all got our unique circumstances, but that doesn't belie or change the fact that we can do things about living healthier lives, eating healthy, exercising, you know. Um, most of the issues that we have with ourselves are self-inflicted. And so, I don't know. The info's out there, the wake-up call's there, but nobody wants to do, or a lot of people just don't want to do it. It's going to take any kind of effort at all. They just want to take a pill if they got high blood pressure and not change their diet, not do any exercise, not, you know, sleep right, you know, do whatever it takes to do it naturally. We want just to take a pill and make it go away so we can just keep on doing what we're doing. Anyway, I've been going on almost 10 minutes. Maxie's still here. Burn up a storm. We're going to bake some bread this morning. City chicken's out there. Uh, do some yoga. Here comes another one. And uh, go to work for 12. You know, we'll have some breakfast. Have a nice cold, thin, watery gruel for breakfast. Uh, maybe make a sandwich. And I don't know. I took a bunch of food to work yesterday to eat for my lunches on my break. And never ended up eating a thing, so... Truly enjoying this uh, Ethiopian coffee we got here. And I guess that's all about all I got this morning. So, hey, have a wonderful day. 
safe distance. Practice uh, social distancing with the ones you love. Thanks for not tuning in.